In this video, I want to talk about a good steak. Because I love it, I want to talk about it. Why we love it? Who is paying for it? We will try to find out next. So do not forget to ring the bell and subscribe this channel and we are starting right now. Today we are in a place that is out of balance with regard to consumption of food that comes from animals. Meat and milk, eggs, honey, all these products are consumed in crazy quantities and in a way that never been before in human history. In order to produce one calorie of beef, it is necessary to convert about 10 calories in its favor. And today, most of the agriculture in the industrialized world and in the top of the list, USA, who continues to annihilate forests for growing seeds, corn, grain, and a lot of soy, they are taking this protein and serve it to the cows. Animal that's supposed to consume and eat grass. And that is the reason the industry is able to sell beef in such of a low price. It's amazing. A big and tasty for just a dollar? How do you do it? What's your secret? Take these statistics. Our world's population is 7 billion people and 1.5 billion cows. So it means that every four people on this planet owns a cow. And add to this another statistic. If today the US completely stops consuming meat, the hunger problem in the world will end. Since cows need a lot of grazing land, 30% of the world's land is devoted to grazing and it is only growing. Every cow drinks something like 45 liters of water a day. The amount of water required to produce one kilogram of meat in the American method of growing in closed areas with food served, it is 15,000 liters per one kilogram. Again, 15,000 liters of water per one kilogram of beef. And let's hear this. Production of cattle protein requires 25 times more agricultural area than equivalent vegetable protein. Let's try to understand, in fact, why cattle breeding has an effect so devastating to the environment. First of all, it is important to mention that cattle is a domesticated animal which is very far from the original. Only about 10,000 years ago, it has become the animal that we all know today. And it is built, in fact, to provide services for humans, meat, milk, leather. All its parts are used in all industries. Men simply developed this animal to consume it. The problem is that there are a lot of bugs in this version. This animal, energetically, is very inefficient. It exists on grasses and vegetation, whose protein content is very low, so she just consumes huge amounts of food. It has a very developed digestive system, about 25 meters long. In this system, there are many bacteria that are responsible for breaking down the plant food that it eats. Byproduct, of course, is the emission of a huge amount of greenhouse gases, which harm the climate and contribute to global warming. It is estimated that the cattle industry alone accounts for about 18% of the world's greenhouse gases. An average cow emits about 1500 liters a gas a day. Multiply this by the huge number of cattle that are currently in the world. So here is the obvious question. We always ate meat. What happened now? A 
Apparently, humans are truly omnipotent. And there are claims that this is the reason that makes man the supreme creature on this planet. Man is the only creature that will always find something to eat. Think about it, from the North Pole to the tropics, through the deserts and the forests, humans always will find something to eat. There is no animal on the planet that has such ability. And this seems to be the one of the reasons for humans' power on planet Earth. Let's go back to the eating meat issue. It is true that the ancient men ate meat. In our fantasy, ancient men is a bunch of courageous hunter men that every two days they kill a mammoth and roast it on the fire. A group of men sitting around a bonfire eating meat. However, the archaeological finds are different. It seemed to start with eating carcasses. Humans walked in the field and gathered what was found. Roots and grasses and nuts and seeds, beetles and ants eggs, or maybe nest with a few eggs, but not much more than that. To kill a mammoth is not so simple. Human beings always ate very little meat. 200 years ago, the average man who was not a king or a marquis ate meat once or twice a year. The situation in which a large part of humanity consumes huge amounts of meat daily apparently was not a part of the original plan. So subscribe this channel so you can get the next foodie chapter. Thanks for watching. See you on the very next.